One of the central issues associated with circuit design and analysis is the interface between source and load. First of all, the interface is a connection between circuits. We can think of one as a source circuit and the other as a load circuit. We can think of the source as generating signals and delivering it to the load. And what we want to do is to simplify our analysis when the source circuit is linear. So if the source circuit is linear for this two terminal interface, then the IV characteristics, the current and then the voltage across the terminals A and B remains the same when we replace it by a Thevenin or Norton equivalent. In other words, we take this Thevenin Norton equivalent, which is much more simplified than this complex array of sources such as voltage and current sources and a network of resistors. So here are equivalent circuits for the source. So let's say we have a complicated array of resistors and capacitors including current and voltage sources. What we do with that circuit is that we simplify it to a single voltage source and a single equivalent resistance known as the Thevenin equivalent resistance so that we can simplify our analysis when we start connecting the source and load and develop the appropriate interface design when we connect these two circuits. Uh, so once again the Thevenin equivalent replaces this source circuit with a single voltage source and a single resistor. The Norton equivalent on the other hand is used to replace the source circuit with a single current source and a single resistor that is connected in parallel whereas the Thevenin equivalent here we have the voltage source and the resistor connected in series and then once again we have a current source and a resistor connected in parallel connected to the terminal points or interface points A and B. Now the key characteristic here is that when we do this replacement with this simplified circuit the IV characteristics at points A and B remain the same. Here under the Thevenin equivalent we can replace this VS with a equivalent VT notation shown here. So the Thevenin equivalent voltage source and the Thevenin equivalent resistor, Norton equivalent current source and the Norton equivalent resistor. Now let's analyze these two circuits in terms of the IV characteristics. So for V in the Thevenin equivalent we have V is equal to Vs right here plus the current through the Thevenin resistor or resistance. So that's our current using KVL for this relationship and for this circuit, this Thevenin equivalent. On the other hand, the current is and the Norton equivalent right here is given as I which is the current due to IN and this current enters this node some of it will go through the terminals A and B and the other one will go through RN and we'll, that's simply using Ohm laws V divided by RN well, solving for V yields I N minus I times R N or I N R N minus I R N. Now let's compare it with the one we did here for the Thevenin. That's V is equal to I N R N minus I. Rn. Well, from 
this comparison between these two equations, we see that Vs, which is really Vt, so we replace Vs with Vt, is equal to In times Rn, and that RT is equal to Rn. So we have these relationships right here to go from one equivalent source to another. And we just replace it with the same resistor. So if we want to go from a Thevin to a Norton, we just take this series connection and convert it into a parallel connection such that Rn is equal to Rt and In is equal to Vt divided by Rn. And we can do the same thing going that way where we replace Rt with Rn and then Vt is equal to In times Rn. So in essence, the Norton and Thevenin equivalent are just source transformation techniques. So we don't have to find all the parameters associated with the circuit. Once we know Vt and Rt, we can trans easily transform it to In and Rn in the Norton equivalent and vice versa. When trying to find the Thevenin and Norton equivalent, it's often convenient to replace it with an open circuit voltage and a short circuit current. And what do we mean by that? Basically, we take our source and we open it. That implies that the resistance between terminals A and B is infinity. And that implies that the current is equal to zero in this type of open circuit voltage. A short circuit load implies that we have no resistance. In other words, we just basically place a wire between A and B. So the load has a resistance of equal to zero. What does that imply? That means the current, the voltage, across here is equal to zero. So notice these two cases, an open load and a short circuit load. One implies that I is equal to zero for the open load case, and the other implies that the voltage across it is equal to zero. So now we'll take a look for open circuit load, the Thevenin equivalent. Well, since there's no current in the open circuit load, we have RT multiplied by zero current, which means there's no voltage drop. Since there's no voltage drop across this Thevenin equivalent resistance, then the open circuit voltage between A and B is equal to Vt, our Thevenin resistance. Uh, voltage source. Now we take these same two terminals across A and B and we place a short. Well the voltage across these two terminals is zero but we have a short circuit current IN because all of the current coming from IN has to go through the short circuit since it has zero resistance and RN has a certain amount of resistance. So that's the essence of what we mean by open circuit voltage and the short circuit current. So in summary, the Thevenin equivalent is equal to, for voltage, the voltage Thevenin equivalent is equal to the open circuit voltage, and the short circuit current is equal to the Norton equivalent. Now our resistance, RT, equal to Rn is simply found by taking the open circuit voltage divided by the short circuit current. And that's in essence what the Thevenin and Norton equivalent does for you, is replacing it with simpler circuits and this is how we find it using the open circuit load and a short circuit load. The open circuit load gives you our VOC and our short circuit load gives you ISC and then taking the ratio between these two variables we get our Thevenin equivalent and our Norton equivalent resistance.